Before I move on to trunnions, it would make sense for me to deal with the expansion link die blocks, not least because I'll be using the same jig. They are far from complex, but they are a bit small, and don't be deceived by the simplicity because both of those long edges are in fact radiused, and we can see that here with the die block inside the expansion link. Don calls out that they've been made from phosphor bronze, which I do, and as I implied earlier, I'll be reusing my jig, and I'll be making them as a pair. For stock I've got some round bar which is round about 13.5mm diameter. To make a pair I need to reduce this down to a piece 4mm deep, 12mm across and approximately 30mm long. So I clamp the bar into the vise, knock off one side flat and then work around the other dimensions. Next I drill three holes. The first in the centre at 5mm diameter, this will be for the clamping bolt. The other two holes are 3.2mm and will be the centres of the die blocks. Back on the jig I've given the surface a bit of a clean with the slot drill and re-centred it under the quill, set the DRO accordingly and now drill two holes at the same dimensions as the two 3.2mm holes I just drilled in the stock. And then use a couple of pins to locate the stock in the jig before clamping it firmly down with a bolt. I now use a slot drill to cut the larger diameter of the die blocks but this time I'm bringing the cutter in on the x-axis as the clamping bolt is wider than the thickness of the die blocks, I have to work around it as I get closer into dimension. For the inside diameter, I change the clamping arrangement to allow each cut to go the full sweep of the arc. With the two radii cut, I remove the block from the jig and get to work with the hacksaw and files to bring both blocks into shape and dimension. In fact, I make them both slightly oversized in the angular sense. This will give me some leeway in the future and allow me to bring them back in if necessary. For some reason I always start these small parts with a sense of trepidation. I don't know why because I quite enjoyed making these, in fact so much so that I made three, which is clearly an indication that I made a mistake somewhere along the way. But anyway, thanks for watching.